Researchers say there could be dozens of alligators living in the Sooner State. Three professors and some students got a grant from the Oklahoma Wildlife Department Conservation Commission to learn more about those alligators. They have collected hundreds of hours of video and a lot more. News on Six's Kristen Weaver spent a day in the gator habitats in far southeastern Oklahoma and has this Oklahoma Zone original report. On a damp and windy day, creatures are hiding under these still Idabel swamps. Tim Patton has made it his goal to find out as much about them as he can. I feel confident there's something about it, but I don't know what that something is. Fueled for the weekend by five Sonic breakfast burritos, he's ready to camp out on the Red Slough Wildlife Management Refuge for a couple days, getting a close-up look at the native alligator population. Patton is one of three researchers working on an alligator research project in the southeastern part of the state, funded by the Oklahoma Wildlife Department. In these murky waters, Tim ventures out to check his traps. This time, only some harmless turtles took the bait. If we catch as many alligators as we did turtles, this job would be a lot easier. These bigger traps entice the bigger gators. And so the animal goes in the trap, and then when it pulls on this... The traps are one of the ways Tim and his research partners capture alligators. Just blind it. But the most effective oh, method is a more one. aggressive one, an after dark search by boat where they catch gators with a pole or big grabbers. The key is searching across the water for beady red eyes. When you get the eye shine on them, they'll just sit there. The largest we've captured so far is just is right around nine feet. Once caught, their mouths are taped shut and the gators are marked. Some of the gators get a plastic tag and a chip like you would give a dog or a cat. A select few receive radio transmitters to be tracked, and the littlest ones get a small notch in their tails. That way the researchers can check back and see how the gators have grown over time. Keep catching and tagging and catching and tagging. Tim showed us a gator nest where layers of sticks and dirt keep the eggs warm. As that vegetation is decomposing, it's generating heat. Once the gators hatch, you can find the babies hiding in a den like this one with their mother close by. The tiny chirps from the babies are cries for their mothers. The researchers get to study these gators for two years, from just babies to full-grown adults up to 16 feet, and they say this is what they're the most passionate about doing. The researchers began studying the alligators years before they got this funding from the wildlife department. And now they're trying to answer a lot of questions people have. We want to know what's the sex ratio, how many males, how many females. We want to know the size structure, how many little ones, medium, big ones. Sometimes the scientists watch from afar. So I'm about 90% sure I see one over there. But researcher Jared Wood likes to get up close and personal. He's installed game cameras all over the refuge. I've got a couple thousand videos, <laughs> and some of it's pretty, pretty remarkable. There are lots of supporting actors in these videos, like an otter family trying to infiltrate the den, or this rabbit that narrowly escaped being dinner for a hungry gator mom. Everything's like Christmas, you know, what you're going to get on that video. That camera. For researcher Jake Pruitt, being out here studying in nature is a dream come true. It's the only good track I've found so far. As these creatures keep swimming through Oklahoma waters, the scientists continue their search, always full of surprises. The strangest critter out here is me. Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.